Is that music? Where is that coming from? I don't hear anything. I like this less and less by the minute. voice coming from what voice I don't think I can do that I can barely hear it I wish I could make out the words I can't do that we get it already house haunted I don't think I can do that we're getting closer I can feel it look at this my brother's junk was left here. You wouldn't know it, but Bartran was a sentimentalist. This came from our estate in Orzammar. When I was seven, I knocked over one of Mother's plates and broke it. <laughs> My brother yelled at me for an hour. This was made by the artisans of House Saldras. The clay was from the Adros Etuna River, which never sees the sun! Arr! He was that upset over a dish? I don't think it was a dish to Bartrand. That stupid plate was the whole city of Orzammar to him. Ah! Sorry. This isn't being caused by some random artifact. The idol is still in the house, Hawk. It has to be. Not going to happen. Address those flaming knickers. Varric, is that what you've been hearing? No. Good. Then I'm not going crazy. Are you real? You've got to get out of here before it comes back. Where's the idol? What idol? Don't waste my time with your lies. Tell me where it is. Take it easy, Varric. She's telling us what she can. She's hiding something, Hawk. Don't lie to me. I know it's here. You must have found it. I swear. I don't know anything about an idol. Please. Maker, no! It's starting again!
This is a piece of the idol. No, I should have known Bartrand would lie to me. Of course he'd keep a piece of the statue for himself. Think of what we could do with this. Varric, you've been acting strangely since we arrived. I don't think you want to keep that shard. I know you're just trying to look out for me, Hawk. But I can handle this. It's not the whole idol. It's just a sliver. I need this thing. Six years of my life have gone into this. And there we go again. This thing's magic seemed only more potent when broken. The shard is my only hope of curing Bartrand. It's my only chance to set any of this right. Listen to yourself, Varric. It's already controlling you. You have to let it go. You're not listening, Hawk. I know I can handle this shard. I'm worried, Varric. You're beginning to sound exactly like Bartrand. Fine. I don't really want to argue about this anyway. Take it. It's your problem now. Maybe Enchantment Boy can dispose of the thing for you. That was the right decision, Hawk. You've saved him great pain. Let's go. I think I could use some air. I hope all is well. Think you can do something with this, Sandal? Is that... Lyrium? I've never seen anything like that. It's dangerous. Varric suggested Sandal might be able to dispose of it. I think my boy can do better than that. Ooh, enchantment. Make it for you. Let me guess. That's your final answer? Three mages have fled to Ferelden, and you have intervened to protect them, as if it is your right to do so. What other answer did you expect, your majesty? A maybe might have been nice. I do not deal in maybes. I deal in cold, hard facts, as should you. Perhaps when Ferelden next chooses a king, it will be one that takes his duty to the Maker seriously. Well, that was awkward. How do you do, Your Majesty? I've been better. Manlier too, come to think of it. This is the champion of Kirkwall. Right, I'm Alistair. Oh, uh, uh, King of Ferelden. And this is Tegan, my uncle. Sort of. I'm actually Tegan. I'm only sort of his uncle. Say, weren't you a Grey Warden once? That's the rumor. Wait. Weren't you? That's the rumor. Huh. I guess we get around. So, you're a king now. Moving up in the world. Isabella, right? You look... different. Don't we all? 
I was hoping we could talk. Would have been better timing before being emasculated by Meredith, but I'm not picky. I'm surprised you would even know who I am. I know you came here from Lothering. A Ferelden refugee that did well for herself. Against all odds. I have to admit, I was hoping your influence in Kirkwall might be of use. If things haven't been going well with Orlay. Without a Viscount here, however, there's only the Knight Commander to deal with. You were having an argument about mages. Yes, well, apparently I don't feel the same way about mages as the Chantry does. So, we're in disagreement. That means they get nasty. They're like that. Sounds like the Circle is better off in Ferelden. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Sadly, I don't control the Circle. I can only deal with mages outside the Circle, of which there aren't many. A lot of your people fled to Kirkwall, you know. I know. I wish I could have helped them. Their blight devastated the kingdom, and afterwards, well, it hasn't exactly been peaceful. They're welcome back, of course, as are you. But after so many years away, would you still consider it home? Kirkwall is my home now. I understand. Ferelden's loss. Is there to be a war, then? I hope not. You're more optimistic than I am. Empress Selene is doing her best. Orlay isn't the most stable place right now. What's happening in Orlay? Oh, the usual. Attempted assassinations, uprising, fancy parties with stinky cheeses. Apparently, some Orlesians think it would be grand to get their lost province back. Well, we won't let them swoop down on us, will we? That's right. Swooping is bad. Do you really think there's something I can do? Sadly, it may be too late. Meredith got wind of my arrival sooner than I'd hoped. What you can do is protect Kirkwall. It will take someone like you to keep it from falling apart. Protect Kirkwall from what, exactly? You ask me, the biggest threat to this city just walked out the door. But maybe that's the ex-Templar in me talking. Well, I suppose we should be getting back. We should. The hero of Ferelden should be back in Denerim by now. You're always so formal. He has a name, you know. So, the Knight Commander. Boiling in oil? That one never gets old. Hello again, Chapman. This is past time for joking. I'm helping you indulge in elaborate revenge fantasy. You have no Viscount. It's clear you're suffering without sufficient leadership. That doesn't grant default authority to you or your commander. It would be easier if you cooperated. Wouldn't it? Guard, Captain. Trouble? Yes. He's been hounding me. These Templars strut around as it is, but now it's just... out of hand. He could be fishing for a less strenuous position here in the barracks. Well, he won't be getting one from me. That's not what Cullen has heard. What are you talking about? That you coddle your men. It's all lies, of course, but it's out there. No wonder the lieutenant was harassing me. Bastards. If they think I'm coddling anyone, it'll be my husband, Donick. You and I will intercept his patrol tonight. Then you can see for yourself if I'm coddling him. ...or any in my command. I don't have to see proof. I already believe you. Of course you do. But nobody questions my leadership without a response. Cullum wants to know if these things are true. You'll be able to tell him. Donick's patrol, Hawk. Me and you, tonight. Accuse me of being... How do you sweat your men?
Or is it always champion now? You're too much of a chameleon, my friend. You made short work of this lot. This is common? As common as I like. What's going on? It's all right. Go ahead. Every guard chooses the patrol they want. My wife promotes from the bold, not the reckless. Action is up. Casualties are down. It is... remarkable. As are you, love. Thank you. That will do. Another time, Sir Arhawk. Safe travels. That should be sufficient. Take that to the Templar. Indeed. Let's go to Cullen. You have such pretty hair. What a lovely color. Other children used to laugh at... Champion, and you are with the captain. None too happy about the accusations against her, I'm sure. You could say that. I saw no evidence to support the claims against her. As I suspected. Then why press this? Some feel that the solution to the current crisis of leadership is to... consolidate authority. As long as these complaints continue, baseless or not, they will serve as justification for eliminating the position of Guard Captain. It would be the simplest fix, whether or not I agree. Perhaps I can reason with the people who are complaining about her. If they meant to use reason, they would not be anonymous. But the complaints originate in Lowtown. Guardsman Brennan is on that patrol. Why wouldn't she tell me of this? I don't know, but... I do apologize for the assumptions of this incident, Guard Captain. It has been... unfortunate. It's not done. To Lowtown Hawk, I need to speak to Brennan. Guardsman! Why did a Templar have to tell me there is unrest in this district? What's going on? Guardsman? It's Captain Jevon. I didn't report his return because... I'm ashamed for him. He's trying to rile the guards against you, but none of us will follow him. You lead better than he ever did. We've made so many enemies. I don't remember him as that impressive. He deserves to be forgotten. He abused his position and blamed me when we caught him. He was well liked by some, but not once the truth was known. We need to find him. Guardsmen? The guards will have nothing to do with him. So he found others. Militia. Mostly anti ferelden The same kind who were against the Canari. I guess it's been long enough they've forgotten how many the Champion killed. A rally against the tyranny of the Guard and foreigners who infest Kirkwall. I'm sorry, Captain. Return to the barracks. The rally is in Darktown, Hawk. I need to be there.
The champion? Here. It's the captain. Are we ready for this? Too long, brave Kirkwall. You did not throw off all others only to fall under Ferelden influence. Leaderless, displaced, alien hands on the most basic authority. Foreign elite bleeding you. Jevon, you disgrace yourself. The Ferelden with the Elysian name. Is there anyone else who so embodies how far this city has fallen? This one is all yours, Captain. Do they know how you sacrificed your men? How you alone disgraced your name? Bitch! You took everything from me! You took it from yourself. The guard know this, and none stand with you. He stands alone. This is no rebellion. It is delusion. A joke inflicted on Kirkwall. Your home and mine. I will not be left with nothing again. No. You shall have less. Would you do this? If I live to a hundred, I will never understand his kind. To the barracks, Hawk. My guardsmen will be waiting. so successful with men you're not that pretty cast a wide enough net and you're bound to catch something <laughs> it's a fine suit the finest break it down distribute it the night commander requires parade armor for inspections then stuff and mount it where she can see it she doesn't inspect the guard I do Meredith will not be pleased. Meredith can mount it. Trouble, Hawk? Seems like you have enough. You don't know the half of it. And why don't you, by the way? Why aren't you tail deep in the problems of this city? Sure, you do good. But petition a title, take a job. The guard is always looking. That's a bit harsh, given my record. Maybe I'm just sick of being the first stop for complaints about people like you. People like me? Brands on about fortune hunters, mercenaries, disreputable professions without purpose. He's a clod, but sometimes... Well, it might be good if the city was a little more stable. Oh, one gallows is enough, Aveline. What? No, I didn't mean... I would never take the guards to those extremes. It has to start somewhere. I don't think it's quite that inevitable. 
But perhaps we'll just have to disagree. Jevon, son of a bitch. You build a good thing, work your hardest, and the past just claws at you. Jevin failed before he started. You know this. I do, and he doomed himself. But it smears all of the guard. I wonder what I would do if my captain lost my respect. Captain, we're waiting for orders. Will you accept them? May I speak freely? There isn't a man or woman here who wouldn't follow you through the void. Captain. I'll take it. If you'll excuse me, Hawk, my guardsmen need me.